What's going on today, guys? Back by popular demand, we are looking at the Harley Benton Amarok. This is the, obviously, this is the red flame maple veneer top. Uh, it's pretty sick, right? It's kind of a satin finish, flat satin, kind of. Uh, it looks glossier in the camera for some reason because I've got daylight coming in through the window. But it is not. 24 frets, stainless steel frets at that. Neck through design, which is very stable. This thing is just solid, man. I didn't used to be a fan of neck through design on guitars. I don't know why. Just when I was coming up, you know, starting out, didn't care for it. I don't know, didn't like the aesthetics of it. But now this thing just looks awesome. I'm totally... It's won me over. Shut up, Jay, and just play the guitar. EMG Retroactive 71 pickups, which apparently, according to the company, uh, they're supposed to have some of the characteristics of both passive and active pickups. They sound great. Hip shot style bridge. It looks identical to a hip shot branded bridge. So I don't know. And this guitar is reasonably priced. You would not expect to see all these higher end specs on a... Um, well, budget-friendly guitar, let's call it that. Also, it comes with a Graftech nut. You can't go wrong with this thing, man. Honestly, there's been some quality control issues that other people have mentioned. A couple of minor things, minor issues that I had fixed, and they were rel really small. So let's go over those quickly. The pickups, the way the routing for the pickups was a little... Well, the routing's good, but the way the pick pickups were seated in the, the holes... They were a little crooked for some reason. I don't know why. I guess they, when they screwed them down, they just screwed them down kind of cockeyed, so they were a little crooked. Also, the rubber foam, whatever it is that they use behind the pickups to help seat them so they sit up properly, that was kind of lacking. It was like molded off to the side at some funny angle. and you had The only way to get it out of there was like basically you would have to chisel it out. So I brought it to my tech and had him do that. I didn't want to make a mess out of it. Now they're seated properly. Good to go. Uh, there were no sound issues. There was no setup or fret issues of any kind. The only other very minor concern that I had when I got the guitar was the selector switch. Three-way. It's a three-way toggle. It's not a blade. The toggle was really jiggly, and I think that's just an inferior switch that they're using at the manufacturing site. It's not a big deal. The selector worked perfectly well. It was just jiggly, and I didn't really like that kind of feel, so I had that swapped out as well. That's it. This guitar rips, man. Nice thick neck. I like a thicker neck, even though I don't have very large hands. I just like something more substantial to hold on to, uh, and I also feel like it gives a little more sustain to the guitar, as well as the neck through design. It stays in tune. I love this thing, man. Let's check it out. How about a little 80s? What do you say?
So there you go, guys. Just want to give you a brief run through with my other Harley Benton Amarok guitar. Obviously, I like these a lot. Uh, that's why I bought two. And I wouldn't sleep on this one. It's uh, very affordable. I don't know if they're going to keep it at that price point for much longer. Considering all of the high-end appointments that the guitar comes with, I really don't see this thing staying at the sub $500 range for very much longer. Don't think about it. Just get one, you know? You're going to love it, I'm sure. Bear in mind, too, that the EMG Retroactive Pickup Set, those alone go for $200 on EMG's website. So definitely factor that in to your consideration if you're thinking about going this route. This guitar will play any genre you're looking to do. Uh, it does metal and hard rock very well. Obviously, I, you know, I play a lot of 80s and 90s metal stuff, so it suits my needs. I, I really enjoy this thing a lot. The pros far outweigh the cons. The cons being... The iffy uh, quality control issues, again, the things I experienced were very minor, nothing that really, you know, you wouldn't expect to have with any other guitar in this price range. Yeah, go get one. Enjoy it, man. Check out Tomon's website. You can only get them there. Get back to me. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you uh, already own one of these, if you're going to buy one, or if you hate it now. Who knows? But uh, throw me a comment down below. Let's chat. We'll get together again real soon. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Come on. See ya.